Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've had a great day so far. I'm going to Greece. I, I'm just gonna get right into it because I'm literally so excited. I just got a huge package in from Princess Polly and I'm trying it all on right now, so I thought I would show you guys and do a little try on haul. I have been shopping on Princess Polly for years. You guys know this. And whenever I go on vacation, my immediate thought is Princess Polly, especially for summer in general. They have such amazing like sets, as you can see. I'll show you in a sec and dresses and skirts and bathing suits, oh my. And thank you so much, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm so grateful, as always, to be working with you guys. Can we talk about this? Oh, this blue color is so perfect. It fits me perfectly. I get nervous when I, you get a set, because you obviously, obviously have to get like one size, but the top and bottom fit perfectly. I get a size six in all of their sets, and like a four or a six in dresses, depending on the dress. I'm a medium bottom, if that's helpful. But yeah, the first thing I got is this set. I love this like blue fold over moment on the top. Pants, so cute. I can't wait to show you guys what else I got. This dress is everything. Oh my gosh, it is so flattering. I love this neckline. There's also little like sticky things so it stays up. A beautiful slit. I love this. It's coming to Greece with me. I, I have nothing bad to say. Oh, also, I have a code. If you use Danielle, you will get 20% off your order. Highly suggest. I always use my own code until it expires because 20% off your order on Princess Polly will get you far. Um, so yeah, love this set. It's screaming Greece. It's screaming summer, screaming Hamptons. I love it. And again, a set's great because you can pair it different ways. I can wear the shirt with jeans or the skirt with another different top. So this is what the top looks like. I love this little material pattern. And then it goes into a midi skirt. I think this is going to be so cute with like some platforms, wedges. Lots of gold jewelry as I have on right now. Maybe even like a gold um, chain belt. I love this. I love this so much. It's so comfy too. This set is me in a set. Like I feel like I'm like, what do I wear? This is it. Like it's so flattering. You guys know I'm always looking for flattering pieces. For me, I like to highlight my waist. So something like this is so ideal for me. So it's a set. It's black. It has this little like cowl moment. At least I think, I think that's how you do it love the sleeves so flattering like i said and then just a black long skirt but it's like nice thick material it's not sheer which we love flattering as always love one of my favorite things that i got from this haul so good you guys know how much i've been loving denim midi skirts i love this one the slit is perfectly high so that you can like see some leg and you can like stick it out and show your boots or your heels or sneakers. This is like amazing stretchy comfy material. I got it in a size six. This top is also from Princess Polly, but it's a set. So I'll show you guys that after. I just wanted a shirt to wear with the skirt. I love this. I'm actually thinking about wearing this tonight. I have something that I need to wear like a cute cash outfit. So I feel like this skirt is perfect. Another perfect grease set. And I love that they're white stuff. It's not like sheer. Like this is so perfect. So it's this beautiful set. I'll have links below by the way, of course. I love it. It's the long sleeve, but it's nice and breathable. And sometimes it gets chilly at night, so that's good. I love this skirt. Like I don't know if you guys can tell there's like this asymmetrical detail. This is definitely a skirt I would wear like just with a white tank too, like to switch it up from the set. But you guys will definitely be seeing this on Instagram when I'm in Greece because it's perfect. Gotta love a white strapless tube dress. This is so perfect for summer. I love the back detailing, that cute little cutout. Great stretchy, thick material once again. Um, I need to cut out the like hanger things, but there is also a zipper and then this little button thing in the back. I adore it. Again, just with like some nude heels. I think it would look so fabulous with like some big necklaces here, hair up. I can see it now. Um. So I got this dress because I was like, this would be a really good casual dress to have. Guys, this like hugs your curves. Like when I saw it off of my body, there is like a little curve moment and it's showing. Like this is a flattering casual dress. I, maybe I'll wear this tonight with sneakers. Like it looks so cute with like my necklaces. It's like this beautiful light gray jersey color. I really like this. I'm really happy with how this fits. Go Princess Polly is all I have to say. Like, come on. Like, this is so perfect for everyday errands. Or like, I'm shook, I'm shook. 
And last but not least, this is so perfect for summer in the city. I love this. This is another set right here. It's perfect. Again, great material. Love this top and the neckline. It's so cute. Just wear this with like sandals and a little picnic basket. You go do a picnic, put a scarf in your hair, twirl around. Like, I love it so much. I am really obsessed, truly, with everything that I got from Princess Polly. That was so fun trying on the clothes with you guys. I'm so excited. I'm literally just going to put all those things in a pile, I think, and pack them to Greece. I'm going to bring a couple things to Florida this weekend, too, but mostly Greece. Princess Polly ships from within the United States, and it's free standard shipping, which is three to six days if you order $50 or more in the U.S., which I think is amazing, and trust me, you will end up ordering at least that because there are so many cute things. Princess Polly also offers afterpay and shop pay for all U.S. customers. I love shop pay, especially. It makes it so easy to buy something. I'm like, thank you, shop pay. So I'll have a link down below for you guys to shop the looks, but definitely make sure to use my code Danielle for 20% off. You are not going to regret it. I'm literally just keeping this outfit on right now because I feel so cute in it and I have a call in 20 minutes um, with Brooke and our team for some Gals on the Go stuff per usual. But actually right now I'm going on Delta to see if I can change my flight because I'm flying back to from Tampa to New York next Thursday. I'm like going for an extended period of time for my brother's graduation party on Saturday and then Mother's Day and like doing a little staycation with my mom and then like staying a couple days in Florida. I'm going to like the dentist, the foot doctor or like whatever foot solutions place to potentially probably get foot inserts for my shoes because my arches are bad, you know, the fun stuff. And then I'm flying back on Thursday and I'm supposed to be flying in Thursday evening, but you guys, I got invited to such a cool event next Thursday. Like I'm literally geeking out. So if you, by the time this video is live, the event's tomorrow. So you'll have to go to my Instagram to see and I'll vlog it for sure. But like, I am so excited and it, it's changing. It's changing your flight worthy, at least for me. For me, it's really exciting. I'm bringing Delaney. So I'm going on Delta to see if I can change my flight. They make it pretty easy. We do love Delta for that. I'm sad because that means a couple extra hours lost with Finley, my puppy, but that's okay. He'll understand and I'll be back. I'm going back for like 4th of July and stuff. So it'll be okay. About to hop on to my call, but I'm going to make a little mid-afternoon coffee using our Gals on the Go mug. This is from our newest March collection. I'm obsessed with it because we talk about blocking and unblocking people all the time. So it's very on brand for our podcast, Gals on the Go podcast. I need to buy more coffee pods. I'm almost out and there's nothing worse than when you wake up in the morning and you are mad at yourself because you didn't buy more coffee pods. Because right now I only have one left. Oh, it smells so good. I just love coffee. And no matter the temperature, I love hot coffee. I only, I mean, sometimes I'll make iced coffee at home, but I really just love my hot coffee. And then, like, if I'm on the go, I'll, like, treat myself to an iced latte or something. Ugh. Oh, gotta add water. I filled this up to the very tippy top. All right, I'm gonna hop onto this call. Hello, ladies. Hello, how hello. are you? I'm good, how are you? Wait, damn, okay, maybe I'll go off camera too. You can follow our lead. I think lead. it might just be us, actually. Hi, friends. It's a little bit later now. I got some more emails done. I put on a little bit of makeup so I can feel put together. Sunglasses is a headband always. Like, I just can't stop. Um, I think I said it in my stagecoach vlog last week, but I got accepted to Soho House. I applied a while ago. And I just got in and I'm really excited because it's basically like a place where you can go work, you can bring friends, there's pools, there's pools in the meatpacking location, which is the one I'm closest to now, and then there's also one at the Dumbo House location. You can stay at the hotels throughout the country if you're a member. It's like a social club. Um, and I know like a lot of people, they have like events and stuff and there's been so many times in the last year where I was like, oh, it'd be so cool if I was a member. You know, it's Friday night. I don't have reservations anywhere. The food there is so good because some of my friends are members, so they'll take me. I'm really excited. So tonight they have like a new member meeting. So I'm going to that. I think it's just like, like you can't take pictures in there and stuff like that. Like I'm sure they're just going to go over the rules. Um, but I'll show you guys my outfit. Here is my fit. Um, I'm into. I finally found a good pair of dark blue jeans, so I'm pumped about that. Blazer, tee, um, and then my bag. Will it even fit these? This blazer has shoulder pads, and I'm like, will it even fit over my shoulder pad? Okay, perfect. So yeah, and then sneakers because I'm walking there, so I want to be comfortable. I was gonna wear that denim skirt, 
but I wanted to wear my knee sleeve <laughs> since I'm walking and you could like see it in the slip so of the skirt so this is a fit I'm happy with it um just kind of easy I don't really know how long this is gonna last but I'm pumped so let's go Hey, hey. Um, I just started listening. I love Spotify because they have just have like a record of all this music I've listened to for so long. So I was in a 2017 mood, which is the year I graduated high school, went to college, and so I'm listening to my Spotify rap from 2017, and it's good stuff. Like, it's like Portland by Drake, Stay Up by Kalani. Like, good freaking vibes. So listen to that the whole walk back. The new member meeting was so easy, so casual. I definitely didn't need to put on makeup or anything for it, but I'm kind of glad I did because it was like pop in there right now. And I went and I, like one of the other girls was at the new member meeting, we like, they didn't end up giving us a tour because it was really packed. So her and I just like went to the pool upstairs together and like explored around. Um, it was popping. I can't wait to go there more and use the pool and all the amenities. I'm very excited. So really easy meeting, like a little too easy, but, um, yeah, you can't take pictures in there, or video, obviously, so I didn't really show anything. I'm wearing the Rare Beauty highlight in the color Mesmerize, and it's doing it like that. That's nice. But now, I have the evening to myself, which I'm really happy about. For some reason, when the sun goes down, I just get so much more done. Like, I don't know, it's because, like, maybe it's, like, the rush, like, oh, I have to go to bed soon. Like, I just want to get one more thing done. I don't know what it is. I talk about it a lot, but... I'm glad I like was outside and went to the roof and took it all in. There was like a DJ on the roof tonight. I was like, oh my god, on a Wednesday? But I'm gonna take all my makeup off and put on something comfy. I just got a HelloFresh order in. Um, so I'm gonna make one of those meals for dinner tonight. I don't know which one yet. And I have like laundry to put away. I'm getting my new washer tomorrow. If you guys watched my unedited day in my life, my washer broke and it's actually so quick. They said it was gonna be really back ordered, but it ended up not being. So I'm getting a new washer tomorrow so I can do more laundry because I'm in dire need of doing more laundry already. Um, yeah, that's what you missed on Glee. <laughs> Dinner was fabulous, so good. And now I'm in my closet room situation, hanging up clothes. Um, I was kind of going through the Princess Polly stuff I got earlier and I decided instead of hanging all this back up, I'm going to Florida next week and then I come back and I have like five days and then I pack for Greece and I go to Greece. So I was like, instead of hanging all of these up, let me just start a pile. I do this for trips sometimes, like before I went to Cabo, as I collected things, I put them in. So. This is the Greece pile. I'm so excited to go to Greece. It's my first, like, I went to Dominican Republic last year, but I haven't been to Europe since, like, 2018 or 2019, so I'm very, very, very excited. Um, so I'm starting a pile there, and I'm hanging up some other clothes here. 
gonna organize this. I just kind of like let it go the last couple days. So, you know, it happens. And then I also have a pile over here that I've slowly been starting for my trip to Tampa. Tampa's very low maintenance. I mean, these are all bathing suits and then like some stuff I got from free people recently that are really cute. And then I bought more of this because I'm literally obsessed. I gave Clara mine in Miami because I was leaving and she was obsessed with it. I swear this is why I got such a good tan. It's the Kopari Sun Shield Body Glow. It's so good. And I'm bringing this to Florida. And I'm also going to bring it to Greece. So, yeah, I'm just kind of pulling stuff aside. I'm, like, trying to figure out what to wear to Freddy's grad party. So I'm just kind of making another pile over here. <laughs> I literally always overpack when I go home. I think I need all these outfits when really we have the... I guess this is more than normal because we have Freddy's grad party. And then the next day I'm taking my mom on a staycation. So I need, like, a dinner outfit. But I already have what I'm wearing to that. So I'm being drama, but that's okay. Um, so I just need to, like, fold stuff. <laughs> was a very productive and lovely evening to myself. My kitchen's so clean, my hallway's so clean. I took all my boxes, did, like broke down the boxes, took them down. Counters are wiped, I am well fed. And I do have more like computer work I need to get done, but a part of me, it's 10.30. I need to be up. My washer's getting delivered tomorrow between 7.30 and 11.30 a.m. I feel like they're not going to come on the earlier side, but on the off chance they do, I do not want to miss it. So I'm going to wake up at 7 a.m. Um, and then I'll just get that work done in the morning instead and have an early morning. And I'll feel good about it because I'm going to bed semi-early. So I'm drinking some nighty-night tea, some sleepy time tea. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I just got our result. <laughs> So you guys know already I make Google Drives with all of my outfits for trips and right now I've just kind of pulled everything that I want to bring but I saw this TikTok a few of you guys tagged me in where the girl literally like took a dress or an outfit and then like put you know which I do like the shoes whatever but she put like her mood her hair like everything like what's in your purse like and like that's intense, but I'm kind of in the mood to do that because that sounds fun I have so many other things to do, but this is what I'm doing. Okay, but I love that and then my friend Alex who's amazing made like Basically because we we're all kind of like how many day dress like day outfits do we need how many night outfits? How many like exploring stuff like that and she literally went through each day and said like airport outfit comfy clothes casual swimsuit cute dress not too scandalous but still very cute because the views at dinner are amazing like I love her for this so I'm gonna kind of tag team these two things and try and match up so I don't overpack because we're switching hotels at one point and you guys know traveling to Europe I'm sure you guys have seen TikToks and stuff and I've done it in the past like usually I bring carry-ons when I go to Europe not every time but I've done that in the past I won't be doing that this time but like you have to pretty much bring your bag everywhere so it needs to be not too heavy so I'm gonna go through this. I'm listening to jazz music. I was watching one of my favorite vloggers, Michelle Choi. I was catching up on her videos. I'm waiting for my washer to be delivered. It's 8.47 and they're still not here, but that's okay. They've got a couple hours. I wanted to go to Pilates at 10, but I might have to miss it because I cannot miss them being here. Okay, here's an example of day one. I just sent it to my group chat and they were like, actually, this is a great idea. So shout out whoever I saw on TikTok that did this. Like I literally put what I'm wearing to the airport down to the shoes. Because I want to bring these shoes just... Oh, maybe I'll... Uh, I'm going to have to be so... Shoes weigh so much. Because so I was like, oh, I also want to bring my new balances for comfort. Uh, but I don't know if that's in the cards. Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll have to think on that. Um, my bathing suit for that day. Even the cover-up. This is psycho, I know. But just so I'm not overpacking. And I'm not like, oh, here's a ton of options. Like, which is nice to have at times. But for a travel like this, I don't need to have a ton of extra things. And with a ton of girls, we can all borrow stuff. I don't know which one yet, but I think I would wear one of these to dinner that night with these shoes. So that's an example. Love it. The vibes are right in here this morning. Breakfast time. We're going to do eggs, toast, avocado. Easy. Ain't she a beaut. This is my kind of breakfast. If I had bacon, that would just really make it. Breakfast for one, served up, ding. <laughs> 
Breakfast was delish. And now I'm adding a little something sweet. Normally I would have a handful of berries, but I don't have any. So apples it is. Cheers. They will be here in 20 minutes. Woo! I just changed into this little set from Story. It's like a tank and leggings. I forgot Brooke and, Brooke and I are pre-recording an episode of the podcast for next Wednesday. Not really pre-recording, just a couple days earlier than we normally record. And we're recording at 3 today. We usually record at 2, so I have like one extra hour. So I'm definitely going to be able to get a workout in. I can't decide if I want to walk to the West Side Highway because it's a beautiful day out or if I want to go to Equinox and get on the bike. I had a dream that I went to a spin class and it made me want to get on a bike. So we'll see. But I also know when I go home to Florida, we have our Peloton and I can get on that. So I don't really know. But I was just moving some stuff out of the washer so or like out of the laundry area so it's not in their way because they're going to take my old washer and replace it. Um, it must be some big strong men because the thought of that is scary to me. Um, so I just got dressed and like did my skincare since they're going to be here and then I'll shower for the podcast, which I'm really excited. The podcast episode we're doing today is all about, like, it came because, well, I'll tell you guys later. I'm gonna make an element because I feel like I haven't been drinking enough water and I love these things. So this is the raspberry salt flavor. Mm. Ooh. I just brushed my teeth though, so that's a little weird taste. <laughs> Hallelujah, she has a new washer. She's beautiful. It looks so much better than like my dryer. Wow, it's the little things in life. Alrighty, have had quite the productive morning. It's finally time. I decided we're gonna do a walk because I really just don't wanna be inside anymore and being at a gym requires being inside. I need to like walk it out. So I'm really excited to go do that. Got this set on, my black fanny pack, Hoka sneakers for comfort. And we're going to get some vitamin D and go for as long of a walk as I can until I have to come back and get ready for the podcast. But we agreed we're going to do casual vibes today. I don't even know if I'm going to wear makeup, so it's perfect. from my walk and having some leftover tacos for lunch. That worked out well. The walk was good. The weather was so nice out. <laughs> Trying out a new hairstyle for the podcast today. It's like a half up, half down, but like I slicked it back and secured it with a clear elastic and I like it. Like I like how I have some hair down and some hair up. I don't know. We'll see how I like how it looks on camera, but everyone was complimenting how my hair looked on last week's episode of the podcast with my hair up half down. So we're going to try it. About to head over to Brooks. Here's my outfit wearing this 437 contrast jumpsuit. I just love this weather. I love not having to wear a jacket and then some New Balance sneakers and then just all of my jewelry. Of course, I did my makeup and yeah, I'm going to head over to Brooks. I'm really excited. This episode is so funny. I was on the plane last week, and as I do on the plane, I'll go through like my photos on my camera roll, I'll go through my notes, just like random stuff that doesn't require Wi Fi. And I was going through, and I saw like just some funny notes I'd written in, call in high school. Like, honestly, kind of cute. Like, a lot of uh, like crushes on boys and just random happy notes, just random notes in general. So I texted Brooke, I was like, we should do an episode like exposing our notes app. Not like because there are some personal notes on there, so not like her going through my phone and me going through hers, but like I'll read off some, she'll read off some. I'm so excited. She was like, I just found some really good ones for mine. So I'm pumped. And then today I was scrolling through TikTok and now it's a freaking TikTok trend. I swear, we like to go off of TikTok trends for the podcast sometimes, but this was thought of a week and a half ago. So, but now it's a TikTok trend. Like don't go through a girl's notes app or something, it said. But I'm loving this outfit. Giving soccer mom. Let's go report record a podcast, baby. Hello. Hello. We've got our camera woman yeah. setting up for us. Here, lights, camera, action. Oh, <laughs> we love that. This is our little setup. Look at this background today, you guys. Thanks. Are those new? Are those flowers new? No, I've had them, but they've been here, and since I think they're all white, they kind of blend in. Yeah, you know? keep them there. Let them have yeah, their right? moment. I know. I feel like they're. They're pretty bougie flowers. They're very bougie. They look really good. We're about to record a really fun episode. Get excited. Get excited. Okay, I'm about to leave my apartment. Um, recording went so well. You guys, 
this episode actually the day this vlog should be going up is the day that this episode it, that we recorded today is going up guys it's really funny like it was so funny reading my notes to Brooke like I've never read these notes to anybody let alone one of my best friends so that was really really silly and hers were really funny too like the things that we both pulled and we were just laughing the whole episode so if you've never listened to gals in the go podcast this would be a really fun one to listen to um right now i'm just doing a quick touch up honestly didn't really need to do too much this is the foundation i'm wearing today and i'm obsessed it's the revlon aluminum skin caring foundation and i really like the glow that it's giving um and anyways i'm going to a dyson event dyson hair because, well, one, I love Dyson. You guys know I love my Dyson Airwrap. I have the straightener at home. I have the blow dryer. Like, I have a Dyson vacuum. Like, I'm a Dyson girly. And they invited me to the launch of a new hair product that they're, I think they're announcing today. Like, I haven't seen anything on social media about it. Um, and they're doing a presentation. So I was like, I need, I want to get there. Like, this is something you want to get there on time for. So you can, like, be there for the presentation and everything. The only person I know that's going is Lauren Wolf, but once you get to these events, you're like, oh, like, I I know you, I know you, which is awesome. It's really cool having, like, an influencer community of sorts, because it's like, you know, sometimes it's overwhelming going to an event alone, and so, yeah. Um, I'm really thankful for that. I'm wearing this Rare Beauty Lip Gloss in the color Nearly Natural. I was wearing it earlier, too, and I am digging the color. I'm so excited. Like, what are our guesses? What do we think Dyson Hair could release next? Like, do we think it's going to be, like, an air wrap vibe? Like, I really don't know what it could be. But whatever it's going to be, it's going to be genius. So I'm home to my outfits, mids. I wasn't not super proud of my outfit, but it's whatever. Also, I posted my TikTok trying my new hairstyles with this hair, and everyone's like, oh, you should try it and do a middle part and then slick it back and I do like what it gives I think I don't know I'm still figuring it out and I'm nervous because I'm like going to a hair event trying a new hairstyle but that's what this is all for right and I'm gonna wear I got these sunglasses from Desi Eyewear they sent them to me and I like the shape a lot so we're gonna go I can walk because the event is on the west side and Chagirl lives on the west side i'll show you guys my outfit it's nothing crazy here's the fit um denim skirt princess polly aritzia tee all my necklaces crossbody bag belt is revolve and then uh franco sarto black boots so that's the look let's go see what's going on Okay, so I was so excited to see what Dyson was releasing today, and I was like, I wonder if it's something that I'm gonna feel like I really need. This has answered all my problems. This is the Dyson Air Straight. I am obsessed with Dyson. You guys know this already, but wow. So it's basically, it looks like a flat iron, but they already have a flat iron. This, there's no hot plates. It's all air, so it straightens your hair with air. They did it on my hair, like it literally took one pass, and they say like you only need three passes at most, but I just love it because it's so much better for your hair, and you could do wet to dry, or like damp to dry, or um, or no, I think you could do wet to dry, and then you can do like just a boost on your dry hair. Um, I'm obsessed, and I was not expecting 
them to send each and every one of us home with one which was so generous like i know this is not cheap so i'm very excited to use this like this is so perfect for summer because i hate when you have to like blow dry your hair and then straighten it um it's similar to like the air wrap in that like you can do it all in one however i like how this is like made to make your hair look super silky and soft but also it's not like super straight it's not like that like i don't know how to explain it this is just like my under hair but i feel like if i did have my because they were like doing it on people's hair so i feel like if i didn't have my hair slicked up and i had it all down it would have like you could have seen the full effect but i was watching them do it on other people and it literally looked like a blowout like straight blowout not like flat iron straight so i'm so excited to play around with this i'm literally so grateful to dyson that was so fun and james dyson made the presentation he it literally felt like an apple keynote speech when they would like announce the next iphone like it was giving that and it was really cool and there were some great friends there, as I should have figured, so I was really happy. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna relax. Oh my gosh, the ACM awards are on. I knew I was gonna miss them. I've missed the first hour. Also, I really wanna go next year. I'm manifesting that for myself. Um, sorry, my TV always does that. I wonder, cause it's on Prime Video. And I wonder if I can start over. Gotta love country music, baby. Oh my gosh, so fun. It's not letting me start over. Well, that's okay. I've only missed an hour. It's probably like three hours long. Woo! She had me at heads. Wow. Cole Swindell won song of the year. Wow. Oh, there's Jump Party back there. All right, just finished, for the most part, for the night, packing for Florida. I'm going to Tampa tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna bring this, you guys. I think this is the move. Packed my jewelry and this cute little thing from Quince. It's so cute, I have all my earrings and then my rings and then I have a necklace there. Then these are I'm gonna wear tomorrow. And then this has just been my favorite thing to wear to the airport recently. It's this Abercrombie like jumpsuit, or is this the Aritzia one? I don't know. They're like the same thing. This is the Abercrombie one, love. And then I'm packing. I use the base 26 inch suitcase and I love it. It's been great. Um, I've been using packing cubes as well. Kind of have it organized like athlete, like workout, swim, and then like a couple cute outfits for the things I have and then like leisurely stuff. You guys know the drill. You've seen this all before. But I am going to hit the hay and I will see you guys in the mornings. We're doing some things before I go on my flight. And I'm reading this book right now, One of Us is Dead. It is so good. Happy Friday, you guys. We are headed to do a Sculpt Society workout in person. I could not be more excited, truly. I mean, you guys know how much I love Sculpt Society, and sometimes they'll um, email me and some other pals if we want to do an in-person workout because Katie from the Sculpt Society lives in New York, and we're like, yeah. So we're actually doing the workout on Bridget's roof today, which should be really fun. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to walk. She lives in Tribeca, so it's a long walk for me. But I wanna, I wanna get it in. It's gonna be like hot, guys. It's like hot. I also did my hair the same way this morning. I really like it. And also, I was watching TikTok last night, and Sophia Richie Grange wears her hair like this. So, I think I am gonna grow my hair out. I think that's my journey. Oh my god, I have so many lip glosses in here, and for what? Um, I'm bringing so many different water bottles. I have to start walking like five minutes ago. So. Let's get our walk in, set active, top and leggings. Woo!
Juice Generation OPP. It's literally my favorite smoothie ever. And I only get it after workouts because it has like a lot of protein in it. It's great for post-workout. Um, it basically tastes like a chocolate milkshake with like a little banana. Workout was so good. It was hot because we did it on Bridget's roof, but it was so good to get that like extra sweat. And I felt like I got some color while we were out there. Mmm. Mmm. And I walked there and back, which was like an hour total. So, feeling good, feeling ready for the weekend. I am so pumped. I'm going to end the vlog here because I need a shower, zip up my suitcase, and head to the airport. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life in New York City, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!